Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the Unity Tutorials, episode 2 in fact, uh, where today we're going to be covering lighting and adding a player into the game so you can walk around the world. Now, um, in the mini episode I would have done probably yesterday or earlier today, I'm not sure how I'm going to schedule these really yet because I'm recording them in a, a bunch before. Um, so in my little mini episode I showed you how to import objects and images and stuff and then how to place them into the scene and uh, sort of how to manipulate them and rotate and scale and stuff uh, so they all fit your game scale uh, we just do that. Uh, so if you haven't seen that tutorial and you're going to want to know that then just go back an episode to the mini episode which will be in the link in the description as well uh, and just watch that and then come back to this video and hopefully you would have something looking like this or you'll have different models depending on what type of game you want to make. Uh, but I'm just going to go with this game where you kind of, it's like a little mini game where you get something from here, a bridge appears in an animation from here, you walk across the bridge, go into here, a level loads, and just sort of in this room, and that's where we'll sort of do level design from that. So it's basically, as this goes along, it will sort of go into different rooms, and that will kind of be the next different stages of the tutorial, which would be pretty fun to do. Uh, so yeah, basically the game's going to be like a tutorial game. That's kind of, yeah, that's weird, whatever. But yeah, do let me know what you want to see in the next episode. So I'm probably going to record episodes 1 to 4, probably today, and uh, then after that. So once we get to episode 4, sort of, well, you can leave comments, wherever. Anyway, uh, so, continuing. So last episode, uh, in the main episode, I should have to create uh, sort of this island with the trees, the slender looking trees. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to show you how to add lighting today. Uh, now, if you obviously haven't figured this out already, uh, it is actually you may or you may have noticed that it's in the same place where the terrain is. You have these lights here. Uh, so what we can do is we can create a directional light, and you can move this around depending on where you want your sun to be in the game. And uh, now this is kind of useful for flares and also for skyboxes. But for now, I'm probably going to have it in sort of these locations here. It doesn't matter where you have it in the world, like in the sort of position. It's all down to the rotation with the lighting. And sort of with day and night systems, basically what tends to happen is the rotation just gets manipulated. So the lights, the rotation is animated and it sort of just gets moved up and down and... In 360 but yeah so that's the lighting basically so if we hit play I'm not sure where the actual camera is stored uh, I've forgotten where I put it oh well uh, let's just see what the lighting looks like yeah that's good uh, let's okay now the bit you're probably all waiting for how do I add a player into the game so how do I walk around my world well very easy uh, all we have to do is go to standard asset I should have really done this before I'm sorry but um, I kind of wanted to leave it to now. What we can do, you go to standard assets, character controllers, then you drag on first person controller. Now don't do anything just yet. You'll see that it's like, it looks like a weird thing that's halfway in the ground. This is because uh, when it drags in, it just puts it halfway. So you're going to want to put it up until you see it just above the ground. So you sort of see there's like a little gap there. You can make it as close to the ground as you want, because if, if, I, if I do it like this, uh, you will just literally fall through the world, which is why in games you fall through the world because the collision's just gone slightly out and it's miscalculated and you fall through the world. Uh, which is why with this, you just want to put it just above the ground. The player does fall to the ground, um, but it's just a thing just to if you put it just above and not like dead on it, like pixel on it, it means that it's less buggy when you spawn into the game or the game starts or something like that. Now we're going to have the player start over here. Actually, the scale of that chest, I didn't realise the scale of that building is probably a little bit big as well. So I'm just going to scale this chest down a little bit more, perhaps to 0 0.2. Uh, it's a lot bigger than I was actually expecting it to be. There we go. Okay, so if we hit play. Uh, we've now got like this first person game. With this, there's this chest, but it is slightly floating above the ground. And we do have the island over there, the water is animated, the trees are everywhere, but the lighting isn't obviously brilliant, but we're working on that in a minute. Uh, when you go into the water, yes, it sort of does um, sort of disappear. That's fine, we're going to here, there's no uh, collision, but we have this tower here. It's actually a pretty good scale, um, I will be honest, so we'll keep that like that. And obviously the chest is over there, and uh, yeah, that's good. I will make a tutorial on uh, sort of underwater stuff, and also we we'll probably make this so if you walk into this you die or something, 
because we want it to have the bridge that comes up so you don't want to actually see that bridge sort of tucked away under the ground or something or we can make it look like a broken bridge and it repairs itself if you watch the uh, previous episode or something right what we're going to want to do now though is to add a sky because look at that it's like it's blue we don't want this blueness and this dullness so what we're going to do is we're going to add component down here we're going to type in skybox up here i've already done it uh we just click skybox and then what you can do if you if you type in sky now hopefully i'm not sure if i've imported this from something but it was in my sort of default unity imports so i'm hoping it's part of it it seems to be uh they've added all these skyboxes uh so what you can do is you can uh add different skyboxes to the game now hopefully if, if i click on game yeah so you click on this and you type in sky again you'll be able to choose between different skyboxes for your game and they do sort of affect the graphics a little bit i think i'm going to go with that one it looks it looks like it fits the style a little bit more oh, uh, go to the scene view actually you want to also add it in the scene view as well in your render settings go to skybox material and go to sky and then go to sunny 3 which is what i'm going to use for this particular tutorial now i'm going to edit the lighting because i'm not too happy with it now there is this shadow thing here you guys probably won't be able to use these unless you're using the unity pro trial or you have unity pro uh, i wouldn't bother wasting your unity pro trial just yet um i'd leave it but that's the lighting for th now i'm not too happy with the trees the lighting of the trees so if i grab another light and point it down here a little bit gives a little bit more light towards those trees over there because if i get rid of that it's a little bit darker just want to give it a little bit more light i know it's not very much like a sun but uh it just gives it enough light for this game that we particularly want right now and if you're worried about uh, having the player walk out of these trees and sort of into this open world we will fix that soon uh, we'll sort of create stuff on the screen and stuff like that which would be pretty awesome so I think that pretty much concludes this tutorial uh, we sort of stand on this chest so in the next tutorial I think we might start covering basic scripting or we might learn collision actually we'll do uh, do I actually do it now? How long have we been going for? I don't actually know. Uh, I suppose I could fit in. Okay. What we can do with this is you see we've got this here. There is actually oh there is actually colliders for this. Oh, where's the box collider then? Oh, it's that one there. I thought I saw something down there. Does this actually have all of its collisions? No. So what we can do is if we just do this, 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 add components. So you want to select all these and go to um, collider. So you do col and you do mesh collider. Now what this does is the mesh that's given, which is basically what the 3D model is, is a mesh, and the texture sort of goes over that mesh, creating this 3D object that you see on the screen. Now hopefully, yeah, the collision has worked, so you no longer can sort of run through this. That's basically how collision works. If you have an object, you walk through it, try adding different colliders, like a box collider, or a sphere collider, or a wheel collider, or a mesh collider. Uh, sometimes with specific objects, like I think it might be high poly objects, I'm not sure, I've come across this problem before though, where your game will really lag if you use a mesh collider. Um, if that happens, just sort of create empty objects or something and just put a bunch of colliders on uh, it should be fine but if you need any more help on that do let me know and i will um create a mini tutorial on how to fix specific things or how to do empty game objects and stuff which is up here but you might not know how to use them but yeah uh i'm gonna end that tutorial here for today then so thank you very much for watching uh next episode actually do i need to do a mini episode today or well, for this episode I don't think I do. Uh, actually, I might do it for empty game objects. If I don't, I might not do one. But if you guys want that, then I'll come back and I will, because I save these episodes sort of separately. So I will sort of come back and I will uh, do that if you guys want that. But yeah, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye.